Hi, welcome to Coastal Kitchen. And in my kitchen, I'm doing a very traditional and a different recipe called as Puti Kadi. You all must be wondering what this Puti Kadi is, but stay tuned in and find out what it is. Okay, so Puti Kadi. Puti Kadi is made from the fresh kokum fruits which are there in season now. So if you get a hand on it, they are there in some of the markets. It looks like a mangosteen fruit. Today I couldn't get them, but then you can use even the kokum petals as an option. You have to just soak these kokum petals in about two cups of water, and after 20 minutes you get a nice pink concentration or decoction from it, which you use in the footy kadi. But today, as the everybody is on a run and things are more available in the supermarket, I'm using something like a concentration already there in the market, which is called as a kokum concentration. So I'm having about half a cup of it. So add that. It's got a lovely pink color. This is a natural pink color because that fruit is really red in color. So take that, add about three cups of water, three to four depending on the taste of it. Add some salt. Add the coriander and give it a mix. The concentration also has sugar in it, so please taste it. If you're using the petal concentration, will not have sugar in it. This has got little sugar, but still I'm adding about a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of lime juice. Give it a mix. The sugar and the lime juice has mixed well. Now we'll just give a little temper to this. So take a tempering bowl, add about half a teaspoon of ghee. This fruit is really good in the summer. It cools down the body temperature. That's why I think God has just made it. You get it only in this two summer months of April and May in the Konkan region. And it's really used abundant there. Once the ghee goes hot, we have some mustard seeds here, about half a teaspoon. Chuck them in. Yeah, once they start crackling, we have some finely chopped green chili here. So chuck them in and some hing powder or acid for today. So add that too and let the temper be really good. The tempering is a technique again. It should not burn but it should not be raw also. Let the flavor and the aroma of the hing come and it gets get into the air and you can really smell it. There it goes. So chuck that into the mixture. Give it a mix, mix it and this is the footy kadi. It's done. It's nicely served in a glass or you can even use it over a steamed rice. It's a really good combination but I'm just using it as a beverage here or chill it in the fridge before you serve. So this is footy kadi. I know it's a very simple recipe, but I'm telling you I can vouch for it. You serve your guests and they will be amazed what it is made of. So definitely make it for your family. Subscribe, like the button and share it. Mm -hmm.